I want to talk about the glow of Lampyris sardinia as an illustration of the fact that not only adult fireflies glow and that it's not always about sex. Well now, the most prominent example for the glow of the Sardinian glowworm is that of the adult female. It is the most bright and enduring. Its glow organ is composed of two bands and two dots at the tip of the abdomen, very similar to that of Lampyris noctiluca. The only obvious difference is that in L. sardinia the outline of the bands is somewhat fuzzy and not as clear defined as in L. noctiluca. The bands are a special feature of the adult females. They form during their development at the pupil stage. The dots are present in all stages of L. sardinia. When glowing to attract a mate, the female usually switches on the bands at a somewhat lower intensity and starts to search for a good spot to show off her shine. When it starts to amp up the glow, the two dots eventually join in as well. The male of L. sardinia also glows, but not to impress the females. It only shows a small flicker of a glow when disturbed. This is interpreted as a defensive warning signal, as the sudden flicker of light might startle a predator. Oh, alright, alright, I leave you alone now. Sorry for being an annoying vertebrate. The female does this too, utilizing only the two dots. I often observe that after laying their eggs, the females switch on the full array, bands, dots and all, and glow continuously, again. When they die, they keep on glowing, but the glow gets dimmer and dimmer until it fades. Here, the light is already so low that I have to use long time exposure to make it visible on my camera. But let's take a step back and look at what the female produced before its death, the eggs. They glow too, even faintly visible to the human eye through the female when it lays them. But I do not have this on camera so far. In the early stages of egg development, the glow is very faint and evenly distributed. Here it is demonstrated using long time exposure. Later on, the newly formed lava will glow inside the egg, using the two dots of glow organs. They start here in the lava and are therefore often referred to as larval glow organs. They react to disturbances just like we have already seen in the adults before. This results in a flickering up of a miniature starry sky when gently shaking, blowing on or even screaming at a dense patch of older eggs. Since this is hard to catch on video, our old friend long time exposure will have to come to the rescue again. This was, unfortunately, a rather small clutch of eggs. In reality, and seen directly through the human eye, it is a much more impressive sight. The larva continues with this disturbance-induced glow after hatching. Once again, its purpose can be seen 
in creating a startle response in predators. The larvae are especially prone to light up when flight, I should better say fleeing, since only adult males in El Sardinia can actually fly fly, is not an option at the moment. For example, when they are totally stuffed after or during a massive meal. Or when they are about to bolt. The larvae also have a very special mode of glowing that only this stage seems to possess. It consists of a series of dimming up and down whilst moving, kind of like the light of a lighthouse seen from afar. Here are some of my attempts to shoot a video of it. It seems to occur spontaneously and no exogenous trigger is apparent. This is probably a kind of warning display, telling nocturnal, visually guided predators Hey, you better don't try to eat me! I taste really bad! Kind of like the bright color scheme of a ladybird during the day. But at night, bright colors are quite useless. Fireflies typically contain poisonous substances or at least stuff that confers an unpleasant taste. And it has been shown that predators can easily learn to associate glowing prey with a bad taste. Male and female pupae show a disturbance induced glow with the two dots lighting up. In the female, the bands develop, and in older pupae, they will also light up when something disturbs the pupa. It appears that, phylogenetically speaking, glowing had primarily a protective function in the Lampyridae and was later co-opted as a sexual display. This is mirrored by the fact that Lampyridae sardinia, like most other Lampyridae fireflies, uses the protective aspect for most of its life cycle and the sex is reserved for at most a few weeks of its life. 